Hey there, everybody. I wanted to give you all a snapshot into my outside of work and church life. Um, one of the things I really enjoy doing with my wife is spending time in the backyard um, planting and, you know, pretending we know a little bit about working plants in the dirt and stuff. So here's, here's our backyard. Um, we've got about a quarter of an acre. There's our little house. Um, this is really steep. So I am six feet tall. Uh, you know, and I would, my height would put me right about there. Uh, we've got about a 45 degree slope going down this hill, which was an adventure to clear. Um, you know, this trampoline stand is a work in progress. I have plans of eventually covering it with lattice and building a full platform over there, which we could use in the future for, you know, meals and put a little pagoda out there. I don't know. Um, this giant tree uh, I cut down you may have seen in previous videos. And then these are our sweet pea plants with their cages there, which eventually will be uh, filled with flowers. Um, quite an adventure this last frost uh, or two. We had to cover them completely. Excuse me, because we had a couple of late, real late frosts. Um, but I think we're in the clear now. One other thing that we've had to do is put in these, you know, these steps. Uh, because it's so sloped, like I said, 45 degrees is incredible. Um, but we have a whole bunch of plants here. My wife finished this planting um, last couple of days, and we put a bunch. This is about 40 cubic feet of mulch, and we probably could use a little bit more than that. Um, we built that little rock wall around the tree, which has our bird feeders. Um, on the other side of the tree, you can see my little poor man's pulley system here that allows me to drop these bird feeders without having to climb up there and kill myself with a ladder. Um, so let me go back down and show you our beehive so you know what we have going on in our life. We got three, three pounds of bees. There's one of them. Um, they're kind of starting to wake up. We've had them, I think we're going on week three. We've had no issues, no stings, they're not aggressive. You can get close, they'll land on you, look around a little bit and fly away. Um, this is just the, the lower level. For the first year, they just built their own honeycombs in there, developed their own little colony system, because they came in the mail in a box. Um, then later on, we'll put a, another layer, that, that lid comes off, put another layer in there, and that's for them to start building honey once they've got their own reserve. But this is our little backyard. It's uh, It's been a long time, a uh, long process so far, and we've still got a lot of work to do. Um, we've put in, you know, my wife and I did all this ourselves as well. We've got a little rototiller. She's working on planting a bunch of bulbs and plants that she started in our basement. She did all that work over there too. Um, all the landscaping aside from the deck stairs which were done by a gentleman did a great job if you're interested please let me know I'll message you or message me and I'll send you some information this swing was a lot of fun to hang out there I don't know how high that is maybe 30 feet um, what I ended up doing the first time was uh, throwing a hammer that had a piece of string up over that branch and pulling it down and then I had to go and cut down a couple of dead limbs. So I tied a eight foot ladder to the tree and then my 24 foot ladder also tied to the tree. So it was just like attached to the tree, it wasn't gonna move. Climbed up there and cut them all down and moved that over to the left a little bit. Anyway, this is our work in progress. We got a lot of work to do. Those are peonies. We're gonna have peonies. There'll be a little kind of fencing around them. Um, here's some of plants that my wife's been seeding in our basement. She started all these from seeds in the basement in this little room over here under grow lights. So we've got a raspberry plant. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure what all the plants are, but my wife's got them all figured out. There's them all. She's really a master gardener here. Got a daffodil. Patch, tulips, beautiful plants. Uh, this one 
here, this little patch area right here, um, those didn't overwinter well. We planted those bulbs last winter. Some of them didn't make, make it. Ranunculus is what I think they were. Uh, and then there's our little doggy doo-doo patch. So that's where I end up spending most of my time uh, in the evenings, when I have time that is, um, and on the weekends sometimes. Um, our plan is eventually to have a lot of this area with some flower beds going down the hill, I think. Um, probably the same here, we'll put a flower bed in there. Um, and then we wanna have everything else covered with mulch because this is so sloped, it's really hard to mow and it's so uneven and um, you know, slumpy and bumpy. So I usually have to do most of that with a weed whacker, which I get to do today. Um, but we're grateful that we get to have a chance to see how things grow. You know, it takes a lot of work, a lot of attention, a lot of time, just like everything else in life. And I saw on somebody else's LinkedIn this morning that uh, the grass is always greener where you water it. And I would strongly agree. We always feel like the grass is greener on the other side of something, the fence or the valley or whatever, the mountain. But really, the grass is going to be greener wherever you put the effort into making it greener. So take that as a, the proverb of the day, um, which again, I did not originate. It's great advice. Thanks for watching.